Hey peeps, settle in for a long video because I want to do, want to show you the new product, but then I also want to do a little experimenting with it. So let's get right to it. I've got these new Bible journaling pens and markers. These are the markers, and we're going to try these on the Bible to see if they go through. I haven't actually tested these yet. I did open some packages. This is the um, primary color set. And then this is the soft pastel set. Okay, those are actually really pretty colors. I like those. And then that we have these other markers that are dual tipped. And these, when I look at the package and the markers themselves, they remind me of distress markers. So I'm going to do just a little experimenting with those to see how they react. Here is a um, here's the soft pastel set. And then this is more of the brighter set. Okay, so these two, I have all these in my store. And then I have these highlighters. That They're called highlighters, but I think they're more like crayon highlighters. So we're going to go ahead and open a package. So this is the neon set. These come in packages of three. This is the neon. This is the multicolor. This is a package I've already opened, so I can test them. This is the neutrals. This is the um, soft, or I think this is called pastels. I'm so sorry. This is called soft. This has got like a, a gold, a silver, and a pink. I think I need to open that one to check it out. And then we've got these pens, these three pack of precision pens. Okay, and then these highlighters, and these, it says they're chalk highlighters. So we're going to check all this stuff out. First, I want to do the little experiment with, um, I have some actual distress markers here. And then I opened up this package of, you can see they do look the same. Now I'm going to get a lot of emails, oh, it's not the same formula. These are water-based. So they are going to be similar, but I mean, let's look at these two blues. Um, this is the this is the the Bible journaling marker. It has um, the brush tip, and it also has the chisel point tip. Okay, that is not writing very well. And then this has the brush tip. This has a lot more pigment. Of course, these you don't use in your Bible. So, um, so let's take a look at um, if I was to color with this and then add some water. Let's see what it does. So you can see the coloring is way different because these, these are for Bibles. And that makes sense. So I'm just going to take a water brush and I'm just going to drag that out a little bit. This is just plain, really smooth cardstock. So they're both acting about the same. Once it dries, it's kind of on there. I think if you want to do blending, you have to really get in there before it dries. And this, this is a really wet one. So it's really not doing much of anything. I think it might be this cardstock, but they seem to be very similar to each other. But let's go now look at um, I'm gonna look at how these work actually in a Bible. So this is an old Bible and um, I bought it because I mark mine up so much. And then they end up being um, so marked up, and then I start over. But then I changed versions, and this is a King James, and I went to the ESV. So I didn't get to mark this one up, but I've had it forever, and I just um, want to do the experiments in here. So we want to, what we want to look for is, um, is it bleeding through? So this is from the four pack, and so, I mean, it's actually a very, a very, very light color. Um, let's open up this four pack because these colors are much brighter and so I'm just going to open this up and pull out I had most of them already open um, and pull out one of these let's try 
the teal. Okay, this is like a teal blue. Okay, and this is the brush tip. I would I would guess that. Um, I mean, the, the idea is, can you still read it, read your stuff, and does it bleed through? And it looks like it doesn't bleed through. You can see it just because the thin page is so thin, but it has not bled, so that's pretty nice. And then let's look at, let's look at these crayon highlighters. I call them crayon highlighters because they're not, they don't have ink like a regular highlighter set. So I've got this one open. And I've got this bright one open, and I want to just take a look at these and see how these are. I wanted to make sure before I posted them in my store, see this tip? It's definitely like a crayon. Okay, so... Okay, and you can still read through it. It has a, definitely a crayon waxy feel to it. Um, so it's definitely a crayon. I was interested in these because this is a, this is a gold, and so I was interested in to see how the gold and the silver look. It's actually it's quite um, you have to use a, a light hand because it probably needs it does rub off, and it probably needs a little time to dry when you put it on there, but it. Again, it doesn't bleed through at all. Okay, I cannot see that bleeding through. Okay. And then um, we've got, so those are actually pretty cool. I'm gonna do this pink one just to see how that looks. Okay, so the, actually the pink one doesn't rub off. It just looks like this gold and probably the silver, I'm guessing which really looks more gray on the page, are going to be the ones that will need a little bit of drying time. I also wanted to see what happens with the, with the um, water brush on those. So let's take a look at those with the water brush just to see if these are, have any similar properties to the Distress Crayons. Just want to see if they have any kind of similar properties and you can't even see what I'm doing so let me bring that up so you can see it okay there's the gold so I did the purple the pink the orange that's actually I like this orange it's very neon and bright look at it you can see through it it's cool okay and let's go ahead and try the neon green as well Okay, so these are actually cool. I like these. Okay, so I want to just see if anything happens. Oh, yeah, these are a lot like the Distress Crayons. If you get them wet, you can color with them. So that is cool. I like that. That's, that's very cool. So it's almost like you can get some extra colors of Distress Crayons. You don't have to use these for Bible journaling, but that's what they were originally made for. So now I want to look at um, these. And these are the, the pens, and I want to see how those react in the Bible. Let's bring that back down and see if they bleed through at all. Okay. So let's do something here and see if it bleeds through on here. So we're going to do some highlighting down here. And this is the darker set. So if anything's going to bleed through, it's going to be these darker ones. Okay. And so let's look at... These are probably... These are chisel-tipped. Okay. You can see there's a pretty small tip. And he that observeth the wind shall not sow. So I'm going to be kind of heavy handed to see how that, if that shows through. Let's try the red, because red is pretty bright. Okay. For highlighting. There's the red. 
And now let's look at the other side here and see. Okay, so it doesn't come through. You can barely, barely see that there's some color behind that. So these are very cool. I like these precision pens. You can get them in um, these two different sets, but then also there's a set of three blacks that is exactly the same as this black in this one. Okay, actually both of these sets have a black. So the last thing I have is the chalk markers and chalk highlighters rather. These are called chalk highlighters. These are all from American Crafts um, uh, and I believe that they you can get these at Michael's um, and of course in my store they're going to be a lot cheaper. So this is an interesting looking uh, highlighter. Okay, It's got a chisel point but then if I think if you were to hold it sideways. So chisel point are, are pretty nice fine tip. You can see through it, but it does kind of lighten the words a bit. And then if you hold it this way, you can get more out. But these are chalk highlighters, so I'm thinking these would actually work for crafts um, doing something on dark, a dark piece of paper or dark cardstock. Let me just grab, I have a black piece of cardstock here on my desk. Let me just grab that. I was using this for something, so I'd just be curious to see how these work on the dark. That's not bad. That is pretty cool. And here is the pink. Okay, so there you have it. The chalk highlighter. Let's look on the other side. And again, it doesn't go through. So that's going to be the biggest question on these, if they bleed through. And they don't. So. There you go. Um, everything's in the store. You can get to them by the link below. And I have a Bible journaling section. It should be right at the top of the sections on the left side of the page. So, um, or at the top on the www.onlyonelifecreations.com. Okay. Thank you for watching this. And um, I hope you come over and buy a few pens. Um, I'm going to use these since I've already had to open the packages. I'm going to buy them myself from my store and I'm going to use them. So thank you. Have a great day and um, we'll see you over at the store.